Hi, this is Tex, the owner of IP Freely Proxies. Welcome to my control panel tutorial. Okay, so you've signed up for a monthly proxy subscription with us and wondering what to do next. Firstly, make sure to check the email you received for instructions on where to log in and what your username and password are for your configuration. Then go to ipfreelyproxies.net front slash VIP and put in your username and password combination and hit login. This takes you to the initial setup access page. First off, you need to know that our system is what's known as IP locked instead of username and password protected. And this is to prevent proxy abuse by handing out the IPs to various proxy sharing sites. So the only way you can use our proxies is to add your IP detected by our server or input manually for things like outsourcers or VPS setups into what's known as the allow list and then saving and updating it to our servers. You have to do this step or your proxies will not work at all. Okay, next have a look down the very bottom of the screen where you can see the instant chat button. This is only for problems if you can't find a fix yourself. Please don't use it for casual chats. Okay, in this top box lab labeled setup access, you'll see that our server auto detects the IP you're connecting from. We've tried to make this as absolutely correct as possible for you as there are several different methods to detect IPs and we've combined three of these methods to check. Next box down you'll see is called test set in this configuration but will be named differently in every other clients as it's the actual name of your own personal configuration and will be a combination of the first few letters of your PayPal email plus random letters and numbers. If you have more than one proxy pack you'll see more than one box here. If you do see more than one each one has to have its allow list filled as they are deliberately separate entities so you can perhaps assign one set for home and the others for the office or outsource workers. We'll come back to this box in the automatic update one in a moment though. Down the bottom you'll see the news section. If you ever have any problems please check here first as we'll post here for having any outages. This is also where we'll individually post news items to individual clients if there is a problem or abuse has been detected on the account. Also another good idea to check if you're having problems is to make sure that you have the latest proxy list. Sometimes you have to change C blocks out because they're killed by our upstream providers for abuse complaints or whatever but make sure to check that first as well as check for news. Below this is the help section with all, which also explains how our system works and goes into a little bit more detail about how to go about doing things. Okay back to the configuration setup now. As you can see in this configuration it shows the number of allowed IPs you can use. If you have 10 IPs listed in here only the top number of allowed IPs will be used. So if you have a 2 IP allow and you have 10 of your own IPs in here, only the top two will be used in your configuration. You have two options here. The first is add new address. Once you click on it, you can manually add, manually add an IP and a description so you can refer to it later on, like that. This could be used for outsource workers or for when you're in an internet cafe or similar. Once filled in, you always have to make sure to hit save and update to add it to your proxy configuration file and restart your proxy set. This happens immediately and your proxies are instantly ready for use again. Okay, we'll delete that one, save and update, start fresh again. Okay, next is the auto detect my address button. Once you click it, it uses your IP that our server has detected and adds the auto detected description which you can change manually yourself if you're auto detecting from a VPS for instance. Then as always hit the save and update button and wait for it to complete and your proxies are immediately available again for the computer using that IP. If you've made a mistake there and haven't hit save and update yet you can hit the reset button and the system will check your last saved IPs and change it back to the details it had before like this. So if you've got that in there and you haven't hit save and update yet, you can reset it back to what the server has saved for your configuration. 
Okay, so let's remove that now for the next part of this. Okay, now on to automatic update. We built this auto update system for some clients who have very restrictive ISPs, who have IPs that can change several times in a single day, some of them hourly or even twice hourly. For them, logging in and changing their IP several times a day was counterproductive, so we invented this system. Please do not use this system if your IP only changes daily or monthly, as it's a pain to try and keep the window open that long usually. To get it started, click on the Auto Detect My Address in the box above this, and it has your current IP address and names that auto detected in the description. Now this needs to be changed to whatever the name is you'll be using in the automatic update box below. I'll change that to text auto in this instance. And then hit save and update as always. Okay, next need to change the name in the automatic update address to the same. and then you tick the auto update addresses button and immediately it starts. And it'll check your IP address every 30 seconds and if your IP changes it will automatically update your IP in the allow box and hit save and update for you. For this to work, you have to leave this browser window open. It doesn't have to be on top or anything, it just has to be open in a tab in any of the browsers that allows a refresh on a page. If you close it, the system will no longer automatically update your IP because the page isn't refreshing. And you can also have another address in here as well. Like on a two IP pack, you could have one like this and then save and update and this will only change the one that says that has the same name as this now once it's done you can download your proxy list by clicking the your proxy list menu button on the left which opens this page you can download this this list as a text file which downloads it to your system in the same format as you see there. Or you can highlight and copy your list directly and then paste it into your application. It's slightly messy because of the extra page elements, but it should be easy, easy enough to clean up. Okay, now the subscriptions menu button. Every month when you have paid your next monthly PayPal subscription, a new button appears here where it shows the test set configuration which will say randomize your proxies now this will give you a completely new and random set of proxies again you do not have to click this button and most clients don't for various reasons this option is for those who do want to only note this button only shows after payment and doesn't accumulate month to month and lastly is the support tickets button which takes you to our support system where you can leave a message with any problems or concerns. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the inside soon. Ciao for now. Bye.